Hearing thunder all day long. I mean, it was it wasn't even raining in some points and it was it had stopped for a while, but you could still hear thunder somewhere. It right. was just rumbling around. How about tonight? Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, Doug, I was able to sleep in this morning with my kids because I convinced them it was still nighttime because it was so <laughs> dark outside. It was dark. Yeah, it's... it was eight, nine, even 10 o'clock. We're just kind of relaxing, having some, I'm having coffee, but yeah, so <laughs> I didn't mind that only because, you know, it made for a good morning to sleep in. <laughs> you, you, you got some chill time <laughs> yeah, it was while the, wonderful. Ki the kids fell for it. Good yes. for you, Christine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then we all, we all got a storm and some pretty good moisture out of it. Now, as we head into the overnight hours, I don't think this is going to be near as widespread of an event as what we saw this morning. But some of us are going to be waking up to some rumbles of thunder if you're going to be waking up very, very early tomorrow morning. By the time the sun rises or shortly thereafter, most of those storms should be moving on out, allowing for some sunshine to really be warming us up into the afternoon. But here's what we have out there right now. We just have that little storm cell that's just off to the west of Hardensburg and it's probably going to continue to clip you and uh, light up the sky because these storms have all been uh, really electric lighting up the sky all day long no matter how big or small those storms have been but it's not severe warned at this point you can see it quickly losing strength here even in the last radar scan I want to direct your attention up to the northeast though where Cincinnati is uh, continuing to see some redevelopment of these storms that's going to be uh, producing some of the storms we see into the overnight hours which I'll show you here in just a second. The severe thunderstorm watch that we had earlier today, it's now been expired. We don't have to worry about severe weather. However, tomorrow we're going to be talking about some extreme heat uh, in some spots of Kentucky and off to the south and to the west of the city. We have a heat advisory that's going into effect tomorrow afternoon, lasting until 8 o'clock tomorrow night for heat indices, probably over triple digits. It's just going to be a very steamy day for us. Here's what it looks like overnight, though, as those storms begin to spread out. They may be overdoing the coverage just a tad because I think it's going to go, go uh, a little bit more local to southern Indiana and basically the eastern side of the WHES 11 viewing area, but at least gives you a bit of an idea. So we wake up tomorrow morning, should wake up dry if you're leaving the house right around 8 or 9 o'clock. We stay dry and we start warming up into the afternoon all before the main round arrives, probably after about 4 o'clock. So that's what this is going to look like. It's still going to want to be located and really favor areas off to the south and extreme southwest of the city. However, I still still think we'll get a pretty good couple of hours of hearing some rumbles of thunder and potentially seeing strong to maybe even severe thunderstorms. And those threats are going to be uh, pretty familiar to what we've had before. Heavy rain, hail and the strong wind will be what we're watching for. Also for tomorrow and Saturday, of course, the Swifties out there. The Cincinnati concert is tomorrow night and Saturday night, and it's going to be hot during the day and we'll see some storms from time to time. Now today's rainfall, we did OK. We probably got about a quarter of an inch all across the metro and of course uh, outside of town you did quite a bit better even up to an inch in a couple of spots as we take you along into the next seven days we have lower 90s the next two days upper 80s Sunday through the 4th of July and 4th of July looks like one of the only dry days in the next seven days.